my kids are not only my my three original kids and not only my grandchildren. I have a hundred grandchildren, you guys. A hundred. Them the kids on my bus. Who let the gators out? Stop, 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 stop. Who let the gators out? Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I drive bus six. I can promise you everybody know who bus six is. <laughs> Miss Jackson's bus. Everybody want to ride Miss Jackson's bus. I can't ride them all. But I can love them all. I can't ride them all. But my bus is number six. All right, girls. Let's go. Bye, baby. Have a good evening. I love them like they were my own. I look at these kids. I could be so tired. And when them kids get on that bus, oh, my God. It's just like they perk me up. They keep me feeling young. They keep me going. And they just... So exciting, don't ask me about, I mean, kids. Life growing up for me was really exciting. I have nine sisters and brothers. My mama made our family to be a circle. Now my family is a circle and we all stick together as one. My family means everything to me. They call me the big chief of the family. Even though they love Papa a little bit more, but my family is everything. I have three children. I had one to pass, but God left me with two. My son was 39 when he passed. He's gone. It don't make me love him no less. I had to learn, they're not gone as long as you keep them in your heart. But I'm gonna tell y'all what got me through was the kids, the kids. When you got up there and you look at these kids with these smiles on their face and they so excited about being on a bus and these kids, bye Miss Jackson, bye. And I always say good morning, have a good day and have a good evening. It's an awesome job. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. The best thing about me to drive my bus is the experience I have with the kids and the things you hear. They are so excited. They want to tell you about their day. And that is the most exciting thing. Just to listen at them because you got to listen. You got to. If you turn away from a kid when they're trying to tell you something, you just hurt their feelings. Do you know I listen to everything these kids say? And I will respond. I may not respond right then. Wait a minute. I got to unload the bus and give me a minute. But I do answer them kids. I love them kids. I, well, I dress up, start off with Halloween. Then we go to Christmas. Then we do St. Patty's Day. Now, if I could wear a bunny suit on that bus, I would, but it, I can't because I can't drive with it. You never seen anything to a child walk on your bus and look at you. Oh, Miss Jackson, you're a pumpkin. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. Just to see that face, that one look on their face when they get on that bus. That's a diamond. That's a diamond. That's why I do it. <laughs> my husband told me my favorite quote was, I'm out of here. A lot of people don't understand that, but I say it every day. The reason I say it because when I leave in the morning, I tell my husband, give him a kiss goodbye and say, I'm out of here. He know I'm going to take care of them kids. When I leave work, I say, I'm out of here. They know I'm going home They figure out how to take care of them kids when I get back. And every time people see me, they say, why you always say I'm out of here? Because I know whatever it means to you, it don't mean to me. It means that I'm going to do something right today. I'm going to take care of somebody's child today. Hey, we are out of here. <laughs>